Hi guys, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design. I'm working with my Project Life 2016 album today. And so this is the beginning of volume two for this year. Um, it appears that I have filled one album this year already, yay. And I directly credit the Project Life app for helping me get those layouts done. And so this is the introduction layout in the next album. Um, I, am, I started with a series of photos that my husband and I took when we were on a date night a couple of weeks ago. And then I'm working here <clears throat> with my freckled fawn kit that came for July. And um, this is the embellishment kit. There's a planner kit that's available and there's an embellishment kit that's, in, that's available. And so this is the embellishment kit. Um, and I'm just going to use a couple of these fun little items to decorate the right-hand side of the page. I've already decided I'm going to leave the photos as they are um, with very little to no embellishments at all and just decorate the journaling cards on the right-hand side. Um, so I'm just getting ready with, to see you know, what I want to use. Um, I also want to add the date here so I'm using this stamp set from One Little Bird and Studio Calico and I'm just going to stamp the the months that this album will go through um, it will go June to October and then in, in November I'll probably do a gratitude album or a fall album and then of course December will be December daily um, so at first I tried that one smaller, tiny little um, ink pad and it didn't work the way that I wanted it to work. So I pulled out my old trusty stays on and I just wanted to say something about using that stays on because it's been a challenge for me in the past and I realized that I was pressing down too hard on those stamps. Um, so I learned that if you just press the stamp lightly and pull it right back up that that gives a better image than pressing down and like you're using a, a normal ink on a normal paper um, so and this photo paper is also a little bit different from what I use in my home printing because this is one of the prints that came from persnickety prints um, so that may be a little bit of a difference too but I experienced a little better stamping today on this layout um, so that's a good thing. I wanted to be sure to share that with you today. Um, so I grabbed these little simple stories alphabets just to add something to that ampersand. Um, so the little you and me makes a fun little statement. Um, you know, these pictures are of are a couple of moments of me and my husband um, just goofing off after we had dinner that night and we were just having some fun um so and that's pretty much just how we are anyway so um back to the embellishing i'm you'll see me play around a little bit um to try and figure out what exactly i want to put on here and i knew i wanted to use the hearts there was a combination of um, acrylic hearts and these little chipboard hearts that were really cute in this kit. Um, so I'm sort of just working with those and then that banner is pretty awesome at the bottom. And then um, you'll see me play with this top card quite a bit to try to figure out how I wanna do. I don't need to put much journaling in this because it's, to me, it's just the introduction page. Um, I did heavy journaling on my last introduction page, um, but I didn't want to do a lot on this one. Um, this is just one of those fun, happy, bright layouts that um, that just pulls you into the album, right? So um, I'm just going to play around some more. It took me a while kind of to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have chosen a different journaling card from the Project Life app. Um, 
but that's okay. You know, you work with what you got. I don't um, plan what how I'm going to embellish this layout as I'm creating it in the app. I don't do that. I just create in the app what I want to create um, and then worry about embellishing it later once I have the embellishments in front of me. Um, sometimes I can't plan that far in advance, right? Um, and literally, like, this freckled fawn kit literally came the, the this day that I made this layout. I was like, oh, look, it's on my desk. Why don't I use that? So that's really how random my planning goes for what kits I'm going to use together. So, you know, if you feel like you need to plan these layouts like that and say, oh, I'm going to use this kit, so I need to use these journaling cards, I don't do it at all like that. Um, I'm just much more free-flowing, um, use what's on my desk, use what just came in the door kind of thing, and figure it out later. And sometimes that's the unexpected that pushes our creativity. Um, because if you notice, the the background color on this layout technically is not in this kit. It, it might be a little bit in that one washi tape. But I don't really think that that pink is anywhere in these embellishments. But they still work they still work with the overall feel of the layout itself. They work with the colors that are in the bricks, and they work with the colors that are in my husband's shirt. And um, so it, it all sort of works together in that weird kind of not matchy-matchy way. And that's really what I'm about, and that's really why I purposely don't plan kits versus cards versus product versus everything, whatever, whatever. Um, I don't know if any of that made sense or not. So, but this is pretty much, this layout is pretty much done, so I'm just going to clean off the surface and then show you the layout as it's completed. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and I'll see you back next week. I'll do a flip through of my other album next week, all right? All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye, guys.